Hey guys. All right, so uh, I'm going on this 15 minute walk here at work. Uh, I'm trying to do 15 minute walks twice a day at work because you know walking is great and if you sit for too long and not walk you know, stuff starts tightening up knees hurt things get stiff and then I got this watch to count my steps because I've you know in my research and reading and Autumn Bates the nutritionist I follow she says like 10,000 steps a day is a good number to like a good goal to reach for it's just a round number it's not like but if you want to try to utilize walking as a weight loss tool you want to try to walk maybe at least 10,000 steps a day it's roughly about five miles <clears throat> depending on you know I take a lot smaller steps because I have short legs my husband's six one his strides a little bit bigger so in the morning we walk our 15 minute walk down to the end of the street and back tells me it's roughly like 2,000 steps sometimes a little bit over like 2,038 steps his usually registers around like 1,700 and something well I'm probably taking one and a half to maybe two steps compared to his one because shorter legs shorter stride whatever my watch might not be completely accurate his might not be who knows either way rough guesstimate 2,000 steps is about one mile so if you walk 10,000 steps a day you're talking five miles a day I've met the 10,000 steps quite a few times actually especially if I do these two 15 minute walks now, if I only do one 15-minute walk, I'm pushing, like, upper 7,000s, maybe 8,000 steps a day. But anyways, 10,000 steps a day is roughly five miles. It's a good number. It's a good goal. One time, I think the most I've ever done was, like, 12,000 steps a day. And that was on a weekend. We did a lot of extra walking. We went to the park and walked. So, you know. Back to the walking part. Man, when I first started doing this walking, oh, my backs and my, my backs. <laughs> you know, us fat people have several backs, but uh, my back and my hips, my knees, whoo, killing me. And I usually end up with a headache, but it's gotten easier and easier. There are some days where my back or my hips hurt still a little, like sore, not as bad as they were. My right knee, knock on wood, has not really been bugging me. But, um, yeah, I found that it gets easier and easier. But 58 pounds ago, I mean, we literally... I would walk a minute or two. I'd have to rest, bend over, squat down, sit down, lean up against the back the fence. My husband's rubbing my back like I'm like going into labor or something, about to birth a baby. No. No, just my fat ass. Sorry. Just, uh, yeah. The weight, whew, it wreaks havoc on your body. But um, I'm telling you what, man, if you can get outside and walk, the fresh air it's amazing it looks a little cloudy like it's gonna rain out here today but uh, yeah I mean but if you cannot get out some look I live in Ohio so it's about to get it's October it's about to get cold snowy gross walk inside shoot my building over here at work has a really long hallway downstairs goes from one end of the building to the other just a straight long hallway a little set of steps at the end of each hallway I could kick lose a little bit more weight and the steps don't kill me 
I could walk that long hallway in the winter time and do the steps, you know, at the end of each hallway to kick it up a notch, you know. You add a little incline, a little resistance to your walk. Makes you push a little bit, get a little car heart pumping, get cardio going. Now, granted, we take a casual walk on a Sunday. We go over to the Canton Parks. Has an amazing park system. I'm going to take you over there with me one day. I'll show you the garden. I might go over there this weekend because I want to get a, everything before stuff starts dying. But anyways, we walk over there in the garden and we do a casual stroll. We're not like speed walking, breaking a sweat. We're just getting out, getting some fresh air, strolling around at a casual pace. Now, in the morning or these walks in the afternoons, you ain't gotta be like speed walking or power walking, but if you can walk at a brisk pace, kind of like you're not jogging, you're not running, you're not power walking, like boom, 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 like, you know, no, you're just kicking it up a notch, kind of like, <laughs> think about it like this, you're coming home from work, you got your keys in hand, you about, you're trying to get to the front door, like, you do that actually, like, squeeze, clench, well, for women, I don't know about men, but, clench, clench the butt cheeks, squeeze in the kegels and like just walk like you got a mission or like you're in a hurry like I'm running a little bit late I gotta get it real quick put a little pep in your step some people say because again Autumn Bates my nutritionist she says running actually puts a lot more stress on your body than walking and I think she does run like occasionally she said it's not good to run every single day it just puts a lot of stress on your body these cortisol levels go up it stresses you out not only stresses your body but it usually prevents you from losing weight because you're just overdoing it and eventually with age you know your knees and all that kind of stuff it's just a lot of wear and tear anyways Anyway, she says walking is healthier than running. But, like, if you feel like your walking's just not doing it for you and you're not getting, like, your heart's not pumping, you don't really want to run, you could skip. Remember skipping as a kid? <laughs> it's, uh... It takes a second. You got to kind of remember, like, and I'm sure if someone saw you skipping down the street or at the park, they'd be like, look at this whistling Dixie bitch fucking skipping down the road. What's she got to be so goddamn happy about? Anyways. And hey, you know what? You can do a light jog. Like, we walk down our street at then in the morning. There's a good little hill going down the street. It's such an incline or decline going down the hill that it forces you to kind of jog a little bit and pick up your step. Otherwise, you're like walking at a backward tilt to try to not run down the hill. So I go with it sometimes. I kind of jog down it a little bit. And then coming back up that hill, whoo, that's a... Get your heart pumping. A little cardio first thing in the morning. It's great. So, that's my little advice and my uh, my take on walking and what it can do for you. I come out here and I tell you what. It not only gets my heart pumping, but it clears my mind, man. I step away from my desk like... Two years ago when I stopped smoking, I stopped taking 15 minute breaks because I'm like, I don't need to go take a 15 minute break. I, I'm i not a smoker anymore. What do I need to do? So, I mean, I would take maybe like 10 minutes, go downstairs, go to the bathroom, get some water, do whatever. That's another thing, water. 
you got to drink some water. I hate water. I'm the biggest hater of water that there is. I'd rather drink black coffee than water, but I'm pounding down some water, people. Let me tell you what. Water. We will talk about that in the intermittent fasting video. I'm going to wrap up this walk. Whew. It's only been about 10 minutes, so I got about five more minutes. But I ain't going to make y'all witness that huffing and puffing this last four minutes. Don't nobody want to see all that, really. So, I'm going to let y'all go. Hey, if, it, if the spirit moves you right now, finish watching this video. Be sure you hit like on the video because, you know what, I'm horrible. I forget to hit like all the time on videos. I love. So, I'm going to go back and start and remember to hit like. Hit like on this video. And, hey, you know what? Once this video is done... Go outside and take a walk. Hell, we walk in the morning. If it's slightly sprinkling or a little chilly, throw on a hoodie and walk. I'm telling you what, even if it's only for five minutes, even if it's just to the end of the street and back, and it's only 20 fucking... I, I'm sorry. Go for a walk right now. Have a nice day. I'm glad you watched the video. Now take your happy ass outside and go take a walk. Enjoy the day. Bye. Walk. You'll thank me for it. Hey guys, so I just got done with my workout and I was thinking I would give you a heads up. Um, my next video is going to be a two-parter. It's basically everything I did to get started on keto, all the research I did. Um, but it's a two-parter. I thought I'd just give you a heads up and let you know. It was a lot to cover on like all the research I've done on keto, everything I found out and how I got started, what I ate the first like four to eight weeks. And it just ran a little long. So just a heads up, it's going to be a two-parter. Stay tuned for part one. It's coming up real soon. So keep an eye out, guys. Thanks.